Welcome once again to the Rashi Nash. I am Pastor Matt. And I'm Kara. Thank you for joining us. And this week we're in a new Torah portion, as we are every week. We're in the portion called Noah. That's how we say Noah in Hebrew. And if you're new to Rashi, Rashi is a medieval rabbi from France that gives us the most basic interpretation of the Hebrew scripture. And this week we have a verse in the book of Genesis in chapter three, no, chapter six, uh, looking at, starting at verse nine, it says, these are the offspring of Noah. Noah was a righteous man, perfect in his generations. Noah walked with God. Now, what Rashi says is that Noah is righteous in his generation, that maybe Noah wasn't righteous compared to, let's say, Abraham's generation. Like if Noah lived at the same time as Abraham, would he have been considered a righteous man? This is a good question. And so here's what it makes me think of. I think a lot of people would look at their lives and say, well, yes, I'm, I'm following God, I'm, I'm, or at least I'm trying to. I'm, I'm at least not as bad as the world around me. I'm, I'm not like what I see in the culture. But I, what I want to ask you about is, is it good enough to be righteous compared to this evil generation? I think we would probably say we can be assured we're in the last days because it just seems like the world keeps getting more farther and farther away from God. Is it enough to just be righteous compared to the world around us? Or do we need to have a righteousness that is not based on what we what we see that that's my point number one, you know, but then for you as a mom, I think mothers do a good job of trying to protect their kids from the outside influence of, of the culture. I know, especially when our children were younger, now we have all adult children, which is hard to believe because we're children ourselves. We're so young, (laughs) but uh, how do you think we can still protect our kids from the ideas of the culture around us, even as they grow? Do we, can we still do that as parents, even though our kids are adults? They obviously have their own free will and whatever, but how do you feel about that? Do, do we need to still be instilling into our kids? Yeah, we don't need to be righteous compared to how bad the world is, but we need to do what the Bible says. What do you think? Yeah, I I think it's definitely easier when they are smaller and you do have more control <laughs> over what they can, um, you know, see and read and do and things like that. Um, but it's definitely, I feel like it's definitely important to still um, model it, really. I mean, you can only do so much um, when they get to a certain age. You can't really tell them what they need to do. But um, if they see you continuing and not settling and being like, okay, well, I'm... I'm at least, I do this, this, and this, and my neighbors don't do that, and my my sister doesn't do that, and my, you know, this person doesn't do that, so I'm good, and you kind of settle with that, then they're going to kind of follow in your footsteps. They're going to see that you're kind of plateaued, and that you've, you know, settled at this level, and so I feel like as they're older, they're watching to see what you're doing. They may not immediately, you know, begin to emulate what you're doing, but they're going to know it, and they're going to see it, and they're going to realize that, oh, yes, this is this is continual process. I should continue to become more righteous as I get older. Just same thing as, you know, knowledge. You start off, you only know so much, you know, that you learn in school. And then you can choose to be done with learning or you can, as you continue to grow, um, you, you know, look into more things and learn new things and experience new things. And so I think it's the same way with our morality. We need to continue to... Um, work on our righteousness. We need to every, you know, year we should be able to look back and say, all right, well, this year, look, I'm this, I've taken this step or I've done, started this practice or this, um, this new, you know, something in my life. I should be able to, to, to recognize that. So I, I think it's um, definitely important to just model that, I guess. Do you think it's okay if as a child gets older and maybe becomes an adult, do you think it's okay for the child to call out the parent if they're saying one thing and they're doing another? I mean, I would imagine so. I mean, if they feel like it's something that's important, I think hopefully your relationship with your your child would be enough that it would be done in love and and stuff like that. But um, I, I mean, 
righteousness is righteousness, right? <laughs> Do you remember a certain time when we were on a vacation in the Keys and our daughter Hannah, when she was much younger, called me out on something? Do you remember this? We were, we were sitting in a car and we were stopped in traffic. And so it was a little frustrating. And I don't know about you, but when I'm sort of bored or frustrated, I try to amuse myself by laughing. And there was someone that went by on a bicycle and I thought it was funny to kind of laugh at them a little bit and just amusing myself. I didn't mean to, I wasn't trying to be mean or anything, but I was just, I found something humorous and I was just kind of laughing at that. <laughs> And our daughter, Hannah, said, Dad, that is not Jewish. I thought you were trying to act as if, like, a good Jew would act. And that making fun of people is not good. And she really, she really called me out. And I, I had to, in that moment, I had to stop what I was doing. And I had to sort of thank her for it. It was a little humbling when your kids try to, try to call, you, <laughs> call you out. So... I think we need to remember that not only is it important for us to do what the Bible says and not think that we can coast just because we're better than secular culture, but I think as parents, we need to remember that our kids are watching us. And if they're watching us, the rest of the world is watching yes. us. They'll, they'll pick up on, on things. And so I, I think it's not about being better than the people around you. It's about doing the right thing for the right reason. So that'll be our prayer for you this week, is that uh, if you have adult children, that you have the kind of open communication where you can, you know, iron sharp, sharpens iron, where you can go back and forth and encourage one another. What does the Bible say in the Brit Hadashah, in the New Testament, to spur one another on to love and good deeds, to encourage one another to be the types of people that we need to be. And... Um, not compare ourselves to the world. We are in this world, but we're not supposed to be of it. So let's let's remember that. Thank you for joining us this week for Rashi Nash. We will see you next time. Shalom.